A Launceston family is pleading for help after their teenage daughter fell ill after receiving the Pfizer vaccine. Faith Ranson has been in and out of hospital and suffers almost daily ticks after experiencing what a leading doctor admits was an adverse reaction to the vaccine. From a happy and healthy teenage girl to this. Thank God. Faith Ranson received the second dose of the Pfizer vaccine in August last year. Three days later, I woke up one morning to go to school and I started feeling really unwell, just I didn't feel right, like something just wasn't right and I was in a lot of pain. What followed was months of doctor visits and specialist appointments trying to get to the bottom of the 16-year-old's pain. It evolves the whole time, so now we've got, you know, nausea, huge weight loss, um, you know, she just can't keep anything down. Her parents, both vaccinated, received confirmation from the Tasmanian Specialist Immunisation and Allergy Clinic, which investigates adverse effects to COVID, stating there is no question Faith has had a delayed reaction to the second Pfizer vaccination. Everyone just took a step back, didn't want to deal with it. You know, we were made to feel like it was all in our head. Um, I don't know how you can fake the ticks like she gets them sometimes, you know, and to tick for three, four hours is a long time. Faith hasn't been eligible for the federal government's COVID vaccine claim scheme because she doesn't have one of the seven clinical conditions identified. She's currently on a long waiting list at the Royal Children's Hospital in Melbourne. They have paediatric neurologists over there that specialise in kids and there's also, um, they're a lot more aware because they've been in the groups of COVID and everything for so long now, um, the, the feeling is they are more equipped than here to handle it. Up until January 9 this year, more than 44 million doses of COVID vaccines have been administered and less than 100,000 adverse events were reported. The state's peak medical body says its stance remains the same. So mild adverse events are fairly common. Serious adverse events are very rare. And so, um, you know, the risk of COVID is much greater I would say, than the risk of an adverse, um, a serious adverse reaction. And so I would encourage um, all parents to get their children vaccinated 